Great, uh, 9 o'clock, 14 till 9 on your nearly famous Ross and Wilson show. Well, there you have one of the great ones. I'm in mourning. You're what? Yes, I'm in mourning. Uh, you morning. know my, my favorite musical group. Uh, Hibiscus and the Screaming Violet. Yes, uh, well, Hibiscus was the stage name of George Harris, 32 years old. He died Thursday. Uh, and, oh, and terrible. So now, now I'm in uh, in mourning his sisters, uh, the, scre the, the Screaming, screaming violets. violets. Well, that whole is a very musical family, as yes. I recall the story. Well, that's true. Everyone was involved, yeah. Uh, Luna Bell, Eloise, and Jane Ann. Mm -hmm. uh, the Screaming we'll, Violets. We'll go on, uh, and they have a, a benefit, uh, which was originally planned to help him with his medical bills. That's uh, going on as scheduled next Sunday at 9 o'clock at the Danceteria. I will be there uh, and wearing black. I, I think you ought to. Well, I think you ought to wear violet. Well, it's 8.47, 13 minutes away from 9 o'clock. We'll be right back. Nearly famous Ross and Wilson show. After this. Much more action in the June issue of Penthouse Magazine. Penthouse on sale everywhere. I got my copy in the mail the other day. Yes. Uh, I got bit. mine, too, but Brian was unusual. This Christmas, he forgot, and he gave me not only a subscription to Penthouse, but one to Playboy, too. Is that why I got both bills? Yes. Oh, I never could figure that out. Yes. I thought, I, yeah. because I got, the, I got the Playboy bill first, and I yes. paid that. Then about a month later, I get one from, from Penthouse with your name on it, and I said... Didn't I just pay this? Did you, uh... But I paid it anyway. Did you read the Ted Turner interview in Penthouse? Yeah, Penhouse? boy, I tell you. Bob Guccione, all you guys over at Penthouse, but did you get buffaloed? Uh. Everyone thinks it was such a scintillating interview. That was just Ted's standard Networks Be Damned interview. <laughs> That's right. He always gives that interview. Lousy programming. Sex and violence. Degradation of the American morals. That's right. Hey, Ted, Ted's got a little tape recorder in his vest pocket where he just pushes the button and moves his lips. <laughs> and, and that's the way he does that interview now. It's we, your Ross and Wilson show. I tell you, I saw Ted the other day. No, you yeah, he's around. He's really? He's got a record out. I didn't know that. He's got a record out. It's really terrible. I'll bring it in. You can hear it for okay. yourself. It's a really <clears throat> record. All right. It is. Steve ten. McFarlane had a record out once. Really? That was, but didn't sell either. Ten minutes before nine o'clock. Instead, he got into radio and is doing the excellent job of doing our sports. Here, here is Steve oh, with well. Yankee Replay. Thank you very much. It's nice of you to say. Well, even a lot of good comments out on the street about you. Yeah. <laughs> and I told I told all the girls it was really nice for them to say so. <laughs> Thank you. And they went back to Forty Second Street. That's enough. Waited, That's waited enough. That's enough. Enough. That's it. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is Yankee Replay brought to you by your New York, New Jersey Subaru crew. In Seattle last night, the Yankees winners over the Mariners 3 to nothing. Tommy John, the winner going eight innings, allowing just four hits and no runs. He's at 10-15. I'm Steve McPartland. I'll be back with more. That's Yankee Replay. I'm Steve <laughs> McPartland. I'll be back with more sports. Give the guys compliments. The whole thing falls apart. After this word from Subaru. Mm -hmm. I'm Steve McPartland, 77 WABC Sports. Boston. <laughs> There's that name again. One, two. Right. It's eight. Uh, it's eight fifty-three. Seven minutes away from nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, of course, all the latest news. Yes, a big budget, and Mayor Koch says it will be balanced. Yeah, or else. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's right. And uh, so that's uh, that's the news. John Maher will have those stories and more right before the uh, the last. Dan Ingram, Ron Lundy show. That's right, Ron and Dan doing a uh, doing their version of Swan Lake this morning at about uh, ten minutes after nine. Really, westbound LIE absolutely packed all the way to the tanks. Traffic very heavy from the Cross Island 168th Street tied up from LaGuardia onto the Triborough because of earlier problems there. 59th Street Bridge is much better than all that, especially the upper deck. Uh, let's see what else we have for you. 15 minute wait into the tolls of the Queens Midtown Tunnel. The um, Queens, uh, rather the Throgs Neck and Whitestone Bridges, both 20-minute waits into the tolls. Northbound Whitestone Expressway, very congested from Linden to Whitestone Bridge. A better route would be to take Clearview Expressway to the Throgs Neck Bridge. Eastbound on the Staten Island Expressway, heavy traffic for three miles, a half-hour wait under the Verrazano Bridge. Big bad news over in uh, over in the way the Jarrett Street here, inbound George Washington Bridge, southbound Pip, 30 to 40-minute wait, route 80 to 95, half-hour wait best approaches from routes uh, 4 and 46. That's only a 15-minute delay. At the Holland, inbound, 45-minute delays. Routes 1 and 9, 25-minute delays from the turnpike. The uh, Lincoln Tunnel, 15-minute uh, delay. I'm sorry, uh, it's averaging 30 to 35-minute waits over there. So it's uh, big, big problems getting into Nueva York from the Nueva Jersey this morning. And Joe Nolan will have more of all the gruesome details in about 10 minutes, uh, right before Ron and Dan.
here on your nearly famous Ross and Wilson show. Don't forget, if you're out around town, comedian Marsha Lewis, Miss Hannigan in the East stage show, Annie, will be uh, at Club Ivis tonight. H-A-R-R-I. Double N-I. Harrigan. Hannigan. Hannigan, right. Hannigan. That's what I meant, Hannigan. over on East 50th Street. Hannigan. Uh, the weather, a mixture of bright sun and clouds. Uh, the clouds this morning should be clearing by noon, and we'll have sun and a high of 72. That's Ross K's radar weather forecast tonight. Clear to partly cloudy, a low around 51 degrees, and currently 55 in New York. Mark, on your nearly famous Ross and Wilson show. A recommendation is a powerful thing. Hey, 57, three minutes away from 9 o'clock uh, on the uh, nearly famous Ross and Wilson show, and uh, that uh, just about wraps it up. The day the music dies. Well, not really. Uh, it is true that uh, it is true that our new programming will begin at noon today. Yes. Uh, Ron, uh, Ron Lundy and Dan Ingram will be, uh, will be in shortly to do uh, the last three hours here on WABC, and i got to say that it is... Uh, it's a very uh, bittersweet uh, type of situation here to be part of uh, what is, uh, in our business at least, uh, a major, major uh, happening. Yes. Really. Um, we've, we've worked all our careers to get to a place like WABC, uh, the, the music station, the preeminent music station. And uh, it's kind of mixed feelings that uh, it goes uh, talk. Well, like uh, Bob Dylan said, the times, they are changing. Hey, you'll be happy to know that our show will stay uh, virtually intact. Uh, with one minor exception, we will move over to Eastern Daylight Time. That's right. Yeah. And uh, spring ahead tomorrow to be on the air from 6 to 10. We'll still be playing music. We'll still be having uh, our scintillating off-color rival joke. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and dealing with provocative uh, material and so on. Ruth Gordon tomorrow. Jack Anderson on Wednesday. Deke. Uh, Nicholas Deke on uh, of Deke on, Pereira, of yes. Deke Pereira on Friday. Uh, next week, Pia Zadora, Sophia Loren, Bridget Pardo, uh, all of the all of those wonderful people. Of course, I will not be here. No, uh, <laughs> and, and neither will they. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it only appropriate that we uh, end our show here with one of the uh, great Beatles tunes that made WABC the station it was in the sixties. W-A-B-C. It's been a ball being in music radio at 9 o'clock. Time for the news. It's a big budget, and Mayor Koch says it will be balanced. Here's John Maher. Ross Mayor Koch is scheduled to be briefing the city council even as we speak on his new $15 billion budget. Koch will meet with reporters at City Hall in about one hour from now. Good morning. It's 63 degrees and sunny in New York. This is the 9 o'clock edition on WABC, New York's radio station. Wednesday, new clouds take over. We turn partly cloudy with the same kind of readings. The high then again in the 70s. It's 56 degrees in Jamaica, 54 in West Point, and in New York City, 63 degrees. I'm Rasa K, WABC Radar Weather. Holiday Inn has a no-excuses room guarantee. It means your room...